Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Boosting the Indian Navy's firepower, the Ministry of Defense has signed a contract today with Brahmos Aerospace Private Limited for acquisition of additional dual role capable surface to surface Brahmos missile at an overall approximate cost of Rs 1700 crore. Induction of these dual role capable missiles is going to significantly enhance the operational capability of Indian Navy fleets. The dual role Brahmos can be used for land attack as well as anti ship attack role. Recently, Indian Navy chief has delivered a keynote at India's naval revolution becoming an ocean power. He has mentioned two major challenges for Indian Navy. At one hand, we have Pakistan, which despite facing severe financial crisis, is expanding its naval strength and is on track of becoming a 50 platform force by the year 2030-35. On the other hand, China's presence has been increasing since 2008 in the Indian Ocean region. It has military base in Djibouti and leased Hamman Tuta port for 99 years from Sri Lanka and developing Gwadar port in Pakistan. The naval chief also mentioned the presence of 5 to 8 Chinese Navy units, be it warship or a research vessel or Chinese fishing vessels operating in the Indian Ocean. Now, as we know that Brahmos is the one missile which sends shivers in the spine of our adversaries and their increasing number is not good news for Chinese PLA Navy. It is the world's only supersonic missile which can be launched from land, air, water and underwater making it a truly versatile platform. Powered by a solid fuel rocket in stage 1 followed by a ramjet engine in stage 2 allows the missile to reach maximum speed of Mach 3.5 and a range of 290 km. The extended range Brahmos has also been tested multiple times this year having range in excess of 500 km. The ramjet engine in Brahmos allows the missile to sustain the supersonic speed throughout its flight. Now, Brahmos has been designed for pinpoint accuracy due to its primary role as anti-ship missile. Accuracy is a key against warship which is a maneuvering target. If accuracy is less, it will either cause less or no significant damage to the warships. Reportedly, Brahmos has circular error probability of just 1 meter. Due to the Earth's curvature, the ship's radar are effective to locate low-flying target at a range of 22 km. Brahmos has been programmed very carefully to exploit this vulnerability of the radars in warship. The altimeter used in Brahmos is programmed to take a sudden dip while 20 km away from the target. At this distance, where any aerial target is vulnerable to detection, the Brahmos crews just 5 meter above the sea level. The heavy use of composite material gives the missile a very small RCS just as the size of a bird which makes its detection difficult by fire controlled radars. Its algorithm has been designed to beat any electronic countermeasure. At terminal stage, the missile does the famous Cobra or S maneuvers. As per Dr. Sudhiri Mishra, the former CMD of Brahmos Aerospace, the adversaries are left with only 20 to 24 seconds to respond. At present, no missile or artillery gun or close weapon system exists which can neutralize the Brahmos. As for the research done by an undisclosed developed country, the air defense may be able to protect against 1.2 or 1.3 Brahmos missile, which means if two or more Brahmos are fired together, only God can save the target. This is why NATO has codenamed Brahmos as a Widowmaker. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.